This is going to be really fun, man. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, no problem. You know, it's an excuse to skip school. Welcome to the show. So you were a 13-year-old sophomore at NYU. Is this correct? Yes. Okay. Well, the name of the show is Hasan Minhaj Doesn't Know. You know a lot about the world. Okay? Now, Debatable. <laughs> I'm not trying to create a chasm between the two of us, but I'm pretty smart myself as well. I was a political science major at UC Davis. Again, not trying to brag. My dad was an organic chemist for 35 years. So I want to kick off our first meeting with a little game. Do you want to play a game? Sure. Okay. This game is called Chemistry Wheel of Fortune. I am going to put up a blank periodic table. Part of the periodic table will light up. And then I will ask you what that element is. I will oh, guess boy. first, and then you will guess. I'm just saying it's been 11 years since I've done this for real. So It's been 11 years yeah. since you did practice the periodic. This. You practiced the periodic table. Yeah. Which would have made you two when you practiced yes. the periodic table. Yes. Tungsten. Not making any promises, but I'm still pretty good at it, I would like to think. Wait, are you messing with me, though, that you, you memorized the periodic table at age two? No. I was a political science major at UC Davis. Again, not trying to brag. Brag, brag. Okay. Let's take a look. Oh. <sighs> All right, I'm going to guess first. So, Warno, let me go first, please. <laughs> Potassium. I'm pretty sure it's actually P for phosphorus. Nicely done. <laughs> but I'm pretty smart myself as well. well, well. <clears throat> My dad's watching this, so I just, <laughs> I don't want to crack under pressure. Let's do the next one, please. Okay, so, so we're, if we're up in hydrogen carbon land, I love it. When we're here, I'm in the depths of the ocean. It's dark. Damn. I don't know what I'm dealing with. Uh, I don't know. Wolverine adamantium. I'm going to say it's probably lead. It might be thulium, but who knows? Let's take a look. Oh, it's lead. Let's go. Let's go. How'd you know that was lead? I'm kind of just taking the nearest noble gas because those are the easiest to remember and they're all on the right side, and then just counting in my head from there. So the next one. Ooh, that's the last noble gas. I'm pretty sure that's- Wait, all. let me go first, please. Oh, sorry. Knowledge, why are you failing me? Vibranium. <laughs> Isn't that the one from the- Wakanda Forever, yes. Oh, yeah, I thought it was Captain Black Panther. America's shield. But it is It yeah. is Captain America's shield, and he does get that from Wakanda, yes. Well, today I've learned you know more about uh, Marvel movies than I do. Well, just the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which isn't All right, I'm pretty sure that's Agoneson, also known as Anunnakium. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Did you set this up with our producers? Mm, well, okay. he's taking his head. That's one who took the bribe. Let's do the last one. Now, I don't even know what's going on in these two rows. <laughs> phosphorus. We already do that one. <laughs> P for phosphorus. Damn it. Wait. <laughs> Sodium. Europium. Let's see. Ah, gadolinium. Okay. I know. Guess the best of us. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Look, I'll admit it. I'm 39 years old, and a 13-year-old is better than me at science. Okay, here's my hot take, but memorizing the periodic table doesn't matter that much if you want to be a good scientist. You still have time. You still have time. I mean... Real chemists always carry around the periodic table with them. In reality, we all use computers to look up this stuff and do the calculations for us anyways. Science is more about creative ideas than memorization. And I think it's a good thing that I've learned that since I was two years old. <laughs>